Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the other matter this week. Uh, it's Ad Harun as usual. This week we're going to discuss the uh, public spat between uh, Datuk Zai Ibrahim and the Yang Ahmad Arif uh, Chief Justice of Malaysia, Tun Arifin Zakaria, as a result of um, the decision in the Indra Gandhi case by the Court of Appeal. Datuk Zai Ibrahim was our uh, law minister. He's very passionate about the law, uh, human rights, freedoms and liberty. Uh, when the Indra Gandhi decision was uh, pronounced by the Court of Appeal. And fair enough, after that decision came out, Datuk Zaid Ibrahim, with all guns blazing, wrote, among others, that the decision was unfair. He went on to say that the judges were heartless um, and went on to criticise strongly uh, the said judgement. As a result of which, now we know uh, he's uh, being questioned by the police on the sedition charges. A day or two later, the Yang Amar Arif Chief Justice, Tun Arifin Zakaria, came out publicly to defend the judges. I would like people to dissect our judgment and then tell us where we went wrong. But they don't do that. They call us names. They call us heartless. Judges are heartless people because they have been in the palace of justice for too long. I wish to comment on that, and my take on this is this. Uh, let's go to the basic. The common law as we practice reflects the aspiration, the inspiration, the wants and desires, the pains and the pleasures of the common people. Hence the uh, name common law. While it is without doubt correct to say that the common people do not know the law, they do not read the law, but the common people know or can feel the concept of justice. When something goes wrong, when something is unjust, the common people will know. They will feel it. They may not know the law in extenso, extensively, but they can feel justice or injustice, as the case may be. And uh, because of that, the common people also equate law to justice. Law must be just. There is no such thing as law is unjust, because if it is unjust, then it is not law. For example, when, when, when a person kills a robber and he is charged for murder, why is there so much outrage? And that is because the common people feel it is unjust to do so. It's just as simple as that. The common people may not know the technicalities of self-defense. It must be reasonable. It must be in the heat of the moment. There mustn't be intent and blah, blah, blah. They don't know that. And that is what happened in the Indra Gandhi case. The Lord Chief Justice uh, say that why don't you read the judgment first? No, the common people will not read judgment. I read the judgment. Datuk Zaid may read the judgment because we are lawyers. The common people don't read judgment. But they will get the gist of the report. They will know, they will feel whether it is just or not. Coming back to what the Lord Chief Justice say, we cannot take name calling. That reminds me of uh, the spy catcher case, you know. Uh, what happened was a, a retired MI5 spy uh, wrote a book called The Spy Catcher, outlining what he did as a spy. And uh, all the information that he published in the book actually were already published outside the UK. And the government then filed an application for an injunction to injunct him, or rather to injunct the publication of that Spy Catcher book. The House of Lords agreed with the government, it is a matter of national security, and the House of Lords issued an injunction against the publication of the spy catcher. The next day, the newspaper Daily Mirror front page the picture of all the law lords who made that decision upside down with the caption, you fools. That was what the Daily Mirror said. Because the common people feel it is unjust. As simple as that. One day, um, the most senior law lords of the House of Lords, Lord Templeman, was uh, asked, why didn't you institute contempt against uh, the Daily Mirror. He laughed it off. He said, well, people may form opinions about us, but we know we are not fools. So that's about it. They are entitled to their opinion. After all, he says, opinions don't break bones. <laughs> I think, um, with all due respect, I think uh, the Lord Chief Justice of uh, Malaysia, the Federal Court of Malaysia, uh, should take a leave from how Lord Templeman deal with name-calling. After all, uh, we occupy the highest seat of justice in Malaysia, 
criticism, name calling, labeling come with the territory. That's it for this week, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Till next week. Bye.